<sighs> yeah, but War Quests were probably the most overpowered thing they ever put in the game, and it was the dumbest thing ever. Like, you, you could straight wipe out Gigas with War Quests. Just wait until they introduce and where you can build tanks. I remember whenever... Before dinos were nerfed. Yeah. <clears throat> T-Rexes were actually something to fear. Like, if, if they had T-Rexes, you know, you didn't fuck with them. So T-Rexes could tank rounds. T-Rexes did a fuckload of damage. Spinos were even more ridiculous because they attacked so fast and they had way higher... Uh, yeah movement speed yeah like you know the dinos actually meant something now dinos are just throwaway trash whenever you're raiding you go, oh this is just a fucking bullet sponge that's all it is yeah Sa use them sacrificial t-rex one through 90 you know yep pretty much of course the t-rexes are useless better than them right so uh, i mean I, w I wouldn't i mean they they're all nerfed They've introduced new ones, but, I mean, there's not, like, a second T-Rex. Yeah. They have the Allosauruses in, and the Allosauruses, if you get three of them in oh, shit. a group, you I'll get a... Uh... I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, I'm back. You know what we should do? What, what should we do? We should just uh, start digging a single tunnel. Just a single, you know, a single wide one until we get to the city and so we know where we have to stop. Yeah, that might work. By the way, I think our bikes are full. <laughs> fucking throw me up through the roof in the middle of a fucking horde. No, what you what dinosaurs you were talking about? Something with an S. I can't remember what the name of it was. The Allosaurs, the Allosaurs, if you get through them, they get a pack bonus. And they're, they're like, in, they're like in the middle between Carnos and T-Rexes. Are they? I know, you should watch the fucking video on the mech crap for the dinosaurs. For, there's a T-Rex, Chris, and it's got fucking, like, laser cannons on its face, and it's shooting La another one. Laser cannons? I'm not kidding. Yeah, it's got like laser cannons on its fucking face, and it's just raping another one. It's gonna be really dumb. No, that sounds, uh, legit. Sounds pretty good. I know. I, I like the more prehistoric feel back whenever it, you know, actually felt like it was you against dinosaurs, not you against people in mech suits. Yeah, I feel like if they inter when they introduce guns, it should only go as far as like muskets, and that's it. Like, because mm -hmm. it makes everything Black else useless, rifle. you know. Yep. All right, I emptied out your bike. I'm gonna go uh, take this stuff back. All right. All right. Because my inventory's full. Airdrops. God damn, this tunnel is so fucking long, man. I know, it's cool whenever you're actually afraid of the dinosaurs in the game. Yeah, they're not too much of a problem anymore, except at really low levels, you know? Yep. Once you get just, to what, like level 50 at least, you're fuck. not, you never have to worry about them, or worry about them a little less. You get level like, once you get to like, sorry. Once you get to like level fucking 40, you have turrets and shit, it's just, you know, usually by the time you have at least a T-Rex. If not more, depending on how many people you're playing with. Yep. I remember, like, my... Our biggest thing whenever we were building up on 514 was, uh... We wanted T-Rexes. That was the first thing I wanted. I wanted to get a max game T-Rex. So, we 
add a shitload of scorpions to make the T-Rex. Yeah. Did you, uh... You yeah. cut out... We were the first ones... You first ones to get it? Yeah, we were the... Yeah, we were the first ones on the server to have a max tame T-Rex. The game's had to run it like a democracy. Is, is that's the one, right? Five fourteen was the one that you got betrayed on. Uh huh. This game sucks the life out of you. Those guys are a bunch of fucking cucks. I like, I like how much you fucking help them, and then they fucking just break Dude, you like that. Dude, like, they would have had nothing. Me, Bass, and John let them in out of the kindness of our hearts. Well, now your hearts are cold and dark, and now you don't care. <laughs> we don't care anymore. Yeah. I learned that the hard way in an MMO when I was little. That, you know, that, you know, that little thing that in the back of your mind tells you, be tactful and understanding, shoot it. Shoot right in the goddamn face. <laughs> you know, because uh, lions do not uh, care for the opinions of sheep. So. Yep. Then got that quote from SAO Abridged I done did. It's perfect. It, 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 it's like perfect. It's the perfect, like. This, uh, it's just typically that type of stuff, like I said, that type of stuff happens at MMOs. You're not even, you're not playing an MMO, so I don't know. <laughs> it's this fucking bullshit that happened. Guess it makes sense, you know, everyone's got big fucking, they want to be know-it-alls in games like that, so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The thing is, is that they could have easily, when you guys were off, just fucking, you know, taken a bunch of shit and left. You know, they could have just done that yep. instead. But I think, yeah, I think you're right. I think it's because of the base. If you guys didn't have that big ass base, they wouldn't have stayed. Yep. Our, our base was impenetrable. There was no way they were going to get in. That's why they had to wait until the generators ran out of fucking gasoline and the Plan X ran out of fucking fertilizer. Then, like, I'd get into a party with one, and they would brag about it. Like, yeah, we just waited until all your stuff ran out. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, man. Oh, Thank that you. takes a lot of skill. Oh, boy. Right. Yeah. It takes a lot of skill to raid an undefended drop a, base. <laughs> drop a turtle over your base every couple days, you know? Well, I mean, not only was it an undefended base, but all the fags who didn't like me in the tribe ended up leaving and going to the tribe that raided us in the end. You gotta go. Well, I'll be back. I try to go pick her up. They're a bunch of faggots. Like, and then they brag about it. Oh, we just yeah, did that. Dude, I could not believe that. They left. They're like, oh, we, you know, it's funny too because uh. The guys that we let in, right? Yeah. When I let them in, I said, you know, I'm not, I, I don't like raiding. I just want to build. I just want to, you know, build a base and tame dinos and have fun. You know, build a cool ass base and then we can all fucking have what we want and just play the game. You know? 
And they were like, okay, cool, yeah, we don't even like raiding. Yeah, and then they got to this point where the tribe that ended up raiding us, and they all left to join them. You know, or they yeah. they would start raiding people while I wasn't on. They would raid people while I wasn't there. Like, all of them. And I was like, what the fuck? And they're like, it's PvP, man. Now, that's everyone's excuse on there whenever you ask them why they raid you. It's PvP, get used to it. Go to PvE. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah, but, you know, just because it's PvP doesn't necessarily mean you have to go around fucking being a cuck. Being an know? asshole. Speak softly, but carry a big stick. No? I would have carried a big stick. I would have fucking secretly planted explosives and all of their shit. Well, we carried a big stick. I mean, no, no one wanted... Like I said, dude, no one would even attempt to raid us. Until I quit... I quit playing, and I quit playing because those guys were complete ass wipes. Well, like you were saying, you guys, you well, guys were being way you. too generous to them. You guys were, you know, being generous, and then they fucked. Oh, well, we sh I mean, should have been an asshole. Should have just never let them in. Should have just. I should have done a lot of things, but I didn't. Yeah. Oh, well, no need in you know thinking about it now. It doesn't matter, right? It just makes me mad to think about that too. Cause I spent a lot of fucking time playing that game, making that base. That base was so big. And could have, could have been a nigger and gave me the power. Come to me. Yeah, I, I should have. Wouldn't that been hilarious? Gave, Who the, the fuck's this turkey boy? guy? And I'd be like, uh -huh, yeah. you played my trump card. You know, <laughs> uh, <laughs> banned. Everyone gets kicked. Banned. Everyone's gone. Yeah. They were. Or a bunch of niggers. Thinking about it now, it just still makes me mad. Much too lenient I was. Those people even play the game anymore? They fucked me, ruined the game for me. I didn't stop playing. Hell, uh, it's funny though, because while they were raiding, John and Bass got on and emptied everything out in the whole base. And his left? Yep. Got on and emptied the whole base out. Like, dumped all the eggs in the ground, did everything, just dumped it all on the ground. So they got, they got nothing then out of it, pretty much. Yep. <clears throat> John brags about it. He's like, yeah, I got on. I dumped everything out. I don't give a shit. And it's, you know, actually, it, the the people who started the rebellion were Bass's friends. Were they? His friends that he's known an expert. Yeah, and they didn't start out douchebags. It's just they transformed into douchebags.